Shalom, shalom, Israel. What up, Hebrews and Shebrews? It's your one and only brother, Mikael Ben Israel, coming at you with another Hebrews in the hood. Of course, I'd like to give all praise and honor to the Most High Elohim, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, our Mashiach. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to make this quick little response real quick so I can put it on YouTube. So I really ain't on here to do like no long discourse with everybody. I know y'all want to say what up, get into the depthness or whatever. But uh, we coming at a time. What up, bro? We coming at a time in Israel right now where this thing growing so strong that I think some people have got a little puffed up. And they losing focus of what their uh, mission was. And I say that to say it, it's a particular camp that I don't agree with their doctrine. But it's certain stuff I admire about them. How they, you know, they got the militant look. They get black men off drugs and all that type of stuff. I like that. And I figure we could just stay that way, you know. You know, it's a, it's a scripture in the uh, <clears throat> New Testament where... The disciples came to Jesus and they was talking about some Israelites that was preaching Christ, but they wasn't with their camp. And he basically told them, well, if they ain't preaching against me, then they for me. They're not, you know, they're not, they not against me, right? And that's the attitude I've always had. You know, although our tactics are different and that need to be disputed. But where we at right now, excuse me, is... A particular camp in particular, and I'm going to say that again, in particular, I ain't going to say their name on this video, but some of y'all know, they growing, they're getting bigger, and I support that. But the problem come in, and I think they're a little puffed up, because you know, you kind of take the personality of your leader, right? And they throw shade a lot. And like, we looking like, you know, y'all know me. I ain't never been a camp banger. I'm Walls of Jericho. That's my ministry. You know, Hebrews in the hood. That's me. But it ain't no secret what camp I come from. And that's the IOG. And um, the IOG don't beat with all this nonsense. They just about teaching the king, coming of the kingdom of God and salvation, right? So they don't go out there looking for other Israelites to bang on. But don't get it twisted. That camp has, it ain't that big for a reason. You feel me? And, um, you know, we have a lot of reform killers, gang bangers, all that. While y'all out there yelling like y'all tough, we actually got cats that come from that. But we not on that carnal stuff. But what trips me out is when, if you're doing good, why you got to shade somebody else? You know what I'm saying? This to their leader. The bishop, so-called. You know, he shaved, he steady shaved in IOG. I can pull up literal videos. Y'all go check them. Like when he did an interview with Vice, they talking about Amari Stoudemire. He shades IOG. And then later he does, I, apparently he did another video where he's saying somebody he never heard of him and all that. So, you know, that type of stuff right there is disingenuous. That's not a man of the Lord that does that. So I'm going to say this to y'all real quick. We put out an open challenge to the IUIC. I'm doing it right now. I will challenge y'all, but it's bigger than me. I'm telling y'all right now, the IOG has an open debate challenge to the, I, to the IUIC to sit down and debate these scriptures. Not no personal mud slinging, gang banging, because we all Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all going to keep throwing shades, y'all must be doing it for a reason. You see what I'm saying? Cats ain't even thinking about y'all. Like, when I came into the truth, y'all didn't exist. You were still part of whatever one West part you was a part of. I've been in it 23 years. I think I, I see popped up 10 years ago or something like that. You correct me if I'm wrong. So y'all babies to me. Y'all basically my kids, if you want to go there. And if you want to take that at me, Kyle, in Israel. But I've always respected you, brothers. But this little shade stuff y'all be doing because y'all got a little puffed up. I'm going to say this one thing. If y'all want to approach brothers about not wearing fringes, Remember what the fringe is for. And I don't have a problem with that. But remember what the fringes are for. They to remind you of the law. So what I want to ask uh, Bishop Nate, thank you. When you was looking down at your fringes, you didn't remember that it told you you don't go to the unlawful with your people with the law. 
I'm paraphrasing. You know what I'm talking about because you know that book. But y'all on camera saying y'all will snitch. Y'all have an open snitch on 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 um criminal is a like policy. Meaning, not a cat just killed somebody, but a cat out there selling some weed or something trying to feed his family because he ain't in the truth. Now, that's one thing to abide by the law of the land. But to send him to hell, when y'all know hell is a condition, I thought Christ said, visit them in the prison. How you going to visit them in some way that you sent them to? So I'm going to tell you, since y'all want to go there, brothers, like real talk, y'all are anti-Christ. Christ say visit them in prison, not send them to prison, Nate. Now, since y'all want to go there, worried about the IOG, we've been peaceful with all men. We not with the camp banger. And if I hear, you know, I might hear something about this video I'm about to do right now, but I'm going to make sure y'all sit down with us in front of Israel. Since we two of the biggest camps in Israel, let's sit down with them cameras on. Because y'all promote, I got y'all on video more than once promoting sending brothers to jail. How you send brothers to jail, man? Wasn't Paul in prison? Under the Romans? Ain't these the Romans right now? You see what I'm saying? I understand you was a former police officer. That's cool. But is you a police officer now or are you a servant of Christ? You see what I'm saying? Or Yahweh Shah. Whatever you want to call him, that Messiah in the New Testament, I ain't seen one time he went and got a cat locked up to the Roman governor. So if you want to preach that and y'all want to run from this debate, then I'm going to tell y'all that. Um, Yeah, so I'm putting it all the way out there, man. Uh, and, I, and I'm keeping it 100. I know I got a lot of IUIC friends, IUIC friends on my friends list. And I don't want y'all brothers to look at me no different because y'all know how I am. I only react when it's calls, folks. And cats getting tired of this shade y'all throwing. Like, you could have just left ILG out of all your business, man. Y'all ain't the only Israelites on the planet. You see what I'm saying? Like real talk, y'all not that it did not start with y'all, it will not end with y'all. And for all these other people, like even some of these apologists who think that every Israelite spawned in 1969 from IOG, um, from ISUPK in New York, that is a, a, a straight up historical fallacy. I'm not gonna give y'all too much, but what I would tell you is if you wanted to search the history, um. All you got to do is search some of the Israelites in Chicago. And what you will find out is this thing go back to the early 1800s, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't, you know, y'all must don't believe in scriptures. Because I believe it's Isaiah chapter 44 where it said that they name, you know, they would start to surname themselves. But have you named, have you read them verses right over there where it said how it would spring up? That's talking about the truth, meaning cats will regain their understanding. It didn't say it was going to start one spot in New York. It was already in Chicago. And there's some other spots where it was at. So let's kill that. Let's kill that. That's why our doctrines is so different. You see what I'm saying? Because the Lord is waking us up, but men tend to create their own doctrines. And then you get caught in that doctrine. And even when you show it's wrong, you got to stand with that lie. You see what I'm saying? So I got to give a shout out. I respect certain brothers. And I'm saying this right now. This is Mikael Ben Israel. This is not an IOG publication. I'm saying that for my elders because they don't play. The IOG is organized. They have a protocol just like other Israelite camps. But I'm doing it on my behalf because I love that camp. And I don't feel that they should be under some type of little shaded gay. And I'm going to call it that gay scrutiny that these men of the Lord are supposed to be doing. If you got all this stuff to say about IOG, we in Chicago. Right? Let's just sit down like me with the camera on and talk for all Israel to see it. Because, see, I got a nickname now, right? They didn't put a title on me. And I'm going to be quite honest with y'all. I didn't like it at first. Shalom, Mark, Shalom. Um, I didn't like it because, you know, the, the book tell you don't put flattering titles on yourself. But if other people call you something, then that's what you are. And I've gotten this nickname that I'm an ambassador in Israel. And, that, and I take that as an honor. I didn't like it at first, but some of my people from everywhere told me, bro, you, you know you know how to deal with all different type of Israelites. I, I, I take that honor. You know, I try to focus more on the commonalities than the differences because we are Israel. We're in the same boat. 
But with that being said, that's about as brotherly as it get. Because we got the same enemy. But that's about as brotherly as it get. You will not continue to be slick and disrespectful just because we under the brother act. So I'm going to say this one last time. IUIC, since y'all drive so hard on all the uh, unknown Israelites, like it, it kills me. I be watching the IUIC video, right? Because y'all know I'm subscribed to a bunch of camps, right? And they, they you know, they, they pretty sharp. I like how they, you know, they build up men, right? I get y'all that. So I ain't going to hate on y'all on that. But what trips me out is it never fails, man. When I'm sitting there watching them, it's like, you know, they don't know how to get, you know, you know, they love to wear out that cry loud, spare not. They wear that out. Do you know cry loud, spare not is talking to other Israelites that's lost? Then why are you screaming at the Gentile? That's retarded. What is you screaming at him for? He in the position he in right now because the most high put him right there because we sinned against him. Have you read Jeremiah the 29th chapter, man? When y'all get a chance, whip out your book, open up Jeremiah the 29th chapter and see what he tell, how he tell Israelites to behave in their dispersion, wherever they at. He said, make babies, build houses, and pray for peace. He didn't say do that what they talking about doing. You do that with Israel, not with everybody else. And then what kills me, I will get how you I see this. They be in the hood. That's why I like them. I know where y'all led up there on 79th. That's my area. I'm from 78th and Peoria. So y'all literally right down the street. You know, so that ain't no problem to come see you. But we ain't on no carnal type of uh, uh, Jake type stuff. We on some spiritual Israel type stuff. Right? Even though I know y'all don't believe it's a spiritual Israel. But y'all believe it's a spiritual Gentile. Y'all, let me show y'all how it's about time for a lot of stuff to get busted up, man. That Israel just been comfortable with hearing. Now, let me tell y'all something. On one hand, they'll tell you quick, ain't no such thing as no spiritual Israelite, right? But then they'll turn around and tell you it's a such thing as an Israelite being a spiritual heathen or a spiritual Gentile. So hold up. Where the balance at in it? Make your mind up, man. You know what I'm saying? And so since we going to go there and y'all promote getting brothers sent to jail for committing not God's. Look, this is the killer part, y'all. I'm going to leave it at this. If you going to promote snitch on this brother because he out there committing a crime, meaning the brother probably out there selling some weed, right? Trying to feed his family. And I'm not giving him a pass, but I'm going to be 100. I'm finna tell you what turned me off about IUIC years ago before they even threw the shade on IOG. It was one thing that always ate me up. I was a criminal, y'all. Me, Kyle, Ben Israel, everybody on here know me. I got friends on my friend list right now, know what type of cat I was, and I'm not making it up. Because see, in the shy, you can't make up a story and lie about your status and what organization you was in, and the cat ain't gonna check you. You might come up missing. Dude, I'm in them books, and I'm not bragging, but I'm in them books. I was in an inf infamous street organization that I don't have to mention right now, but most of y'all know, and I am writing my book. You see what I'm saying? So when I had that mindset, when I came and I ran into the Israel of God, it saved my life. You see what I'm saying? So I went from being a killer to trying to reform killers. You see what I'm saying? But y'all out there, and this ain't just the IUIC. This to a lot of you Israelites. Y'all out there real bold and rugged like y'all some gangsters, man. Like y'all some gangbangers, though. Like your spirit ain't. Y'all just threw Ephesians, the first chapter, straight out the book. Y'all ain't changed y'all conversation at all. Y'all out there talking like y'all about that life to, to a nigga come up to you and test that. Because you think them angels going to protect you, but if you ain't acting right, the Lord will let you get touched, man. You see what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, we in the shy. We in where it's going down the worst. And I'm telling y'all right now, I love all my Israelites, all you brothers, whether you from One West or Nine One West camps, keep pushing that, trying to wake up our people. But what you need to stop doing, you for one, you need to learn to check your mouth, man. Stop talking to people like they're crazy. I see y'all in them corners and y'all calling sisters bees. Now, what if one of them sisters 
go back to their husband or to their father, and he come up there and knock your noodles off. Y'all ain't about that life. Half of y'all, I done sat and watched the videos. I'm going to be quite honest with y'all, bro. I done sat and watched, especially IUIC. I've sat and watched their little squad up there. They straight goofies. I'm going to keep it real. Like, you can tell that they was from a goofy atmosphere. None of them wasn't no Gs. Like, even how they talk and joke. You got cats dancing, doing a little, you know what I'm saying? Don't no man do that. I'm like, this dude could never hang with me if I was in the world. But when I go to IOG, y'all might say, them some churchy Christian Israelites. Half of them cats in there, back in the day with a duct tape shoe. You know what changed them? The Lord. The real God of Israel changed them, and his son, Jesus Christ, changed their behavior. So they turn, <clears throat> they reforming killers, not creating killers. So I'm laying it all the way out there, man. IUIC, I'm going to put this on YouTube, and it will be seen. IUIC, y'all need to sit down with the Israel of God in Chicago like, like brothers, and we're going to sit down like ITR did. Let me give a shout out to ITR, Israelites Tried and Refined over in Chicago. Y'all go look at their YouTube channel, Shy Israelites. I don't agree with them brothers' doctrine, but they came in as civilized. They formed a GMS, by the way, and I'm going to get on that next, and then I'm going to get off. But them brothers sat down with us. I think one debate got about 80,000 views. And guess what? They sat down civilized like Israelites. We hashed out our differences. And it was up to the viewer to be edified. You don't hear nothing else from us with them. We're not doing no camp banging like y'all like to do. And y'all do a lot of woofing, camp banging. Y'all ain't about that life. Ain't none of you cats about that. You see what I'm saying? Because if you was, you wouldn't talk so much. You see what I'm saying? I'm coming from a cat that had been shot up many times and then shot people. You see what I'm saying? Y'all ain't about that life. We in the shy, man. And all over the country. Where IUIC is, if y'all want to hold y'all dignity, we in, admit, we, we in as, as many states as y'all is in. We was in Africa 10 years before y'all got their blood, so y'all ain't doing nothing new. So let me go and put that out there too. You see what I'm saying? This ain't even a boastful thing about camps, but I got to keep it 100. A lot of brothers and sisters coming into the truth, and they finding out the Israel, and they learn the teachings from certain camps, right? But then they see this behavior, and then they say, nah, you know what? I'd rather just learn on my own. I don't even want to join no camp. You know why? Because of cats like y'all. So uh, to, the, to, the, to my brothers in the purple, I ain't going to call y'all no derogatory name because y'all still my Israelite brothers. I say shalom to y'all. Um, but we need to sit down. Al G want to sit down and talk to y'all with the cameras on. We're going to get it in. Now, to my second part, I don't want to give this cat too much glory because his channel ain't hitting on nothing. He get about 100 views every other year. But uh, it's a little cat from that messy camp. We just going to call it the messy camp. I'll let y'all figure out who that is. And he just made another video about them brothers downtown. And I know they can handle that because that ain't my business. But he threw my name in there. About the 10-minute mark, he threw my name in there. Talking about people deal with me, Kyle, in Israel. And uh, we let heathens in the camp and stuff like that. Well, let me say something to you, bro. It's a lot that I know. I'm just not carnal no more. So I ain't on no gangster stuff. But keep my name out your mouth. And why don't you just keep, just, just try to teach the word of God instead of making all your videos slander against other Israelites. Because that's what you do. I looked at y'all little channels. All y'all do is slander talk foul about people. When do you teach the gospel, bro? You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you something. Why are you talking crazy about me and my predicament? Because I'm in a wheelchair because I got shot up. You know, the last time I got shot up, I wasn't able to bounce back. The Lord set me down. I have no problem with saying it. But you keep saying stuff like that. What you don't know is everybody that watch them videos ain't in the truth. I got cats that's still in the street and they will kindly fold you up and hide you under somebody's house if I gave them the go-ahead. But I'm not on that because I'm a man of the Lord. And I'm going to let the Lord handle all that business because I know the Lord would deal with me if I convert back to that. See what I'm saying? If you're going to be a new man, be a new man. I ain't finna be no gangster Israelite. You see what I'm saying? Either I'm going to go back and be a gangster or I'm going to be an Israelite that's in truth. 
a Christian, according to the Bible, a Messianic Israelite following the Messiah, right? That's what I'm going to do. But if you're going to keep on saying that kind of stuff, if somebody, the wrong person see that, I can't stop them from doing what they do. You see what I'm saying? Cat living out there in Champlain, Illinois, town this damn big. Everybody know everybody there. I already found out who the dude is. I just ain't on that. Marry this damn first cousin. Excuse my Hebrew. Well, that's in the Bible, damn, so that ain't no cuss word. But, you know, but you you worried about other people. You see what I'm saying? And so I'm going to end this with this. That's what's up, Rakai. Or, 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 or is that Rachel? Rakai D. Thomas? That's what's up. Because, see, this is the thing. We have to live what we preach. You see what I'm saying? We have to live what we preach. You can't be preaching, but then when drama kick off, you automatically convert back to a nigga. And I'm going to say that. Convert back to a thug nigga. Are you done with that life? Or you still, or, or you about this God life? I mean, or, or you back on some gangster stuff? Like, which one is it? So I'm going to tell y'all, man, this is my last day before I get off. And I'm going to say it again. And you ain't going to duck it. IUIC, we need to sit down and talk. In Chicago, we can do it how you want to do it. If y'all don't want to do just the regular little teachers, we can hire the elders sit down because I guarantee you they'll go. They'll probably go. They'll probably go. You know what I'm saying? Let's sit there and deal with these scriptures before Israel. It ain't got to be no hate involved. But IUIC, stop with the little. It's like y'all taking up the personality of y'all bishop. If he promotes snitching, because he used to be a retired, he's a retired police officer or whatever he is, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with that. It's police and camps that that's in the truth. You actually need that balance if you ask me, so they don't shoot you straight down. You know what I'm saying? They might quote some scripture to you, and hopefully they won't lock you up. But what I ain't with is you then took your snitch police personality and passed it down to your camp, right? So... I ain't talking about a cat that's out here molesting a, a cat that's out here molesting a child or killing somebody or beating this woman half to death. You talking about a dude that's out here selling a nickel bag of weed, probably trying to ante up to keep his lights on, and you talking about we gonna snitch. But when I read the Bible, man, it literally says in Matthew the twenty fifth chapter, y'all go read it. He literally says, when I was in prison, did you visit me? What did he mean by that? He didn't say if y'all Israelites sent me to prison. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to go get them people up out them joints and change their life, not send them to them. So that right there, bro, I don't care how many fringes you wear. You can wear them under your chin. You can wear them on your ears. You dudes ain't following that. That's wicked. If you talking about, if you promoting, Locking brothers and sisters up because they breaking the law of the land, you wicked. Point blank, period. Ain't no way around that. And the only way you're going to deal with it is if you come see us, the real priests of Israel. If y'all the real priests, let's sit down and deal with it. And let me read this real quick. This uh, Psalm, uh, Proverbs chapter 10. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 12. It say, hatred stirreth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. I thought y'all love y'all brothers. Then why y'all got so much strife with everybody? Why y'all always got some slick stuff to say about all the other Israelite camps? Why don't you just do what you doing and let it grow? That's because you got hate. And it come from that snitch spirit y'all get. And until y'all deal with it, it's a snitch spirit. That's exactly what it is. So let me say this, because I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I see the comments, but I don't really want to reply to y'all. Y'all got to let me just go off this, because I'm going to keep it funky with y'all. If I would have went to IU, I, you know what? I'm glad IUIC was not in Chicago 23 years ago. I'm glad y'all didn't exist. Because if I would have went to IUIC to change my life, I was still selling pounds of weed, had guns on me, you know. I would have never been able to change. Because Nate would have told them to send me to jail. And you know what? I don't agree with another camp. But it was something I heard them say. Jesus Christ had a warrant. Would y'all have snitched on him? He had a warrant. Would y'all snitched on him? Come on, man. Let me read one more for you, man. Uh, man, I'm trying to keep this thing right. 
This uh, Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 3, it says, the, in the, the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. And that last part, I ain't saying IUSC ain't got no integrity. That's to that other dude from the raggedy camp. I'm not even going to name y'all because that's literally the only Israelite camp I won't deal with in all the Israel. Y'all know who it is. It's the raggedy camp. Like they raggedy. They look raggedy. They probably smell raggedy. They talking about you can rape women. Anybody say that you can rape a woman because they don't know how to interpret it. Deuteronomy 20 is retarded. Like literally, that means they got some mental issues going on. So y'all, I don't care how many videos y'all make about me because only people that's going to join y'all camp is, uh, what do you call them? Uh, oh, man, what's a good word? Degenerates. Like the only people that's going to join y'all camp is degenerates. They set apart, but for a whole nother reason. They ain't set apart for righteousness like saints. They set apart because they retarded and they don't need to be in society. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got a special spot in the lake of fire. Like, they might have their own little, you know what I'm saying, VIP section in the lake of fire. Like, they're going to be sitting right next to the false prophet and, 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 and the devil himself. Yo. Like, so y'all, and y'all know who I'm talking about. I see y'all cracking up laughing. But that retarded camp, they give all Israel a bad name. You know what I'm saying? Out there with the, they get, they literally get, I seen them, man. A brother literally had on a, um, you know them tablecloths when you go to like the restaurant? Man, this cat then cut a hole in the tablecloth, threw it on top of them, and put some mop ends on the end talking about they fringes. Boy, you better stop. You better stop. Because if we was in the land, you would get brick showers, brick showers. We'd just be launching them joints from down the block because y'all out of order. Well, with that, I say I love all y'all all. Shalom, shalom. And uh, share this because what I'm about to do is I'm about to download it to YouTube. And I want to make sure y'all put it in every Israelite group to IUIC respond. With that, I say shalom, shalom.